to build a good relationship with the school, oh look, I think some of it we were lucky, but I think most of it has come down to having that real clarity of vision and not confusing the school um, by, by sort of flip-flopping um, because we weren't sure of where, where we were going or what we wanted for MAC. Right from the start, we were able to provide them with our vision and uh, articulate that. And in every IEP meeting, just check that everything was in line with where, with where we're going. Um, I have, you know, the ability to be able to provide technical skills for Mac's equipment. Um, so I'm a free resource. Uh, it's may also been making myself available um, to the school as, as they need without, you know, overstepping the boundaries. Um, I've had a really great um, opportunity to build really good relationships with Mac's teachers and a decision was made because of the complexity of Mac, uh, Mac's access and technology and how he needs his work to be made accessible that in stage one, so, in, so that's year one and year two, um, he retained the same teacher and the same has happened for grades three and four. And that's allowed um, that stage learning to be, um, have a lot of congruency um, with, by keeping that same teacher, but it's allowed that relationship to build between myself, um, Sean, my husband and, and the teacher. Um, and we don't have to start again at the beginning of each, each year. And that's been a really successful approach. We weren't, we, weren't sure how that would work, but we've been really fortunate with that. Uh, and it's just being, being available, um, working out when's the appropriate time, if there's, if there's problems, are they big enough to um, raise, or do you just fix them when, when there's you know, an appropriate time to discuss them, um, whether they can just be left or whether they, are, um, they need to be um, dealt with straight away. But it's... Um, I think it's that the clarity of vision is what we keep coming back to um, because we were able to provide the school that big picture and so they could see um, the path we were on. Uh, you know, they might not have always got the path we were on or understood the path we were on, but we kept articulating it to the point where we actually think that um, if we posed the question to them, that they would come back um, with that vision and be making, and they do make decisions uh, very much in line with our vision now, without having to have our input.